to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to uncompress your Cisco iOS images inside of Ubuntu Linux. So, in a previous video, I showed you how to do it inside of Windows. That was easy. This is going to be a little bit tougher because we have to do it on command line. So, but it's not that much tougher. So, I've got Ubuntu 10 already loaded up. You can see I'm in my file browser, in my home directory, and in documents. I've pasted in the C2691. That is my uncompressed image, and I've already, or that is my compressed image. I have another image, the 3725, that has already been uncompressed. So we are dealing solely with the 2691. So it's pretty easy. I'm going to bring up my terminal window, and you could use the keyboard shortcut Control alt t and we're in my terminal. I'm just going to do a ls change directory to documents. Do another ls and you can see there is my 2691 compressed image. So all we have to do is do a quick unzip dash p and that stands for pipe in and then I'm going to type in the name of the file C2691. Okay, it looks like my tab complete won't work there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select C2691, right click, copy. So then right there I'm going to right click paste. So that's the file I want to unzip. Then I'm going to hit space and do a greater than symbol. And then I'm going to paste again and instead of the file ending of dot bin, I'm going to do dot image. Let's see if that works. Hit enter. And it looks like it gave me a warning, but that's all right. That's not a problem. I'll do a ls. And now you can see I have a 2691 dot bin and dot image. I'm going to close out the terminal window. As I grow, go back to my file browser, I have the extra image. Let's see if I can do a list view and size. And you can see here my 2691, this dot bin is 37.4 megabytes. The dot image, the uncompressed one, is 78.4. So uh, more than two times larger. So that's, that's the downside of uncompressing it. The upside you will see in just a second is that it loads up much faster inside of GNS3. So let's fire up GNS3. Click cancel right there. We'll go over to edit and iOS images. And I'm going to add in a 2691. So click my three dots there and that's the image we want to use. Double click on that. Let's see platform 2691, 2691. Looks pretty good. We're going to save it and close. I'm going to go over here to the node types, drag in the 2691, close that out, hit play, and hit the console window. Router 1 is firing up, and it is up and running. That was quick. And keep in mind that I am doing this inside of VMware. So on an actual native Linux, Ubuntu Linux machine, it would have been even faster. So we're up and running. Didn't have to go through the decompress uh, that you will normally see on the loadup. You'll see uh, images decompressing. So didn't have to do any of that. Just came right up within about 10 seconds. So that was a quick and easy video of uncompressing a dot bin iOS image inside of Linux. Thanks for watching.